Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we're going to be going over the Delay on Make Timer. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech and there are two types of timers used in the industry and it is the Delay on Break Timer and the Delay on Make Timer. We are going over the delay on make timer in today's lesson and we will begin with how does it work. The general way this type of timer works is that when the control is energized, the timer delays energizing the load for a certain amount of time. That amount of time is either predetermined from the manufacturer or adjusted by the technician. As you can see, this one can be adjusted by the technician and can be adjusted from 0.03 to 10 minutes by spinning the red knob and directing the arrow. The voltage is adjustable as well. Nothing needs to be done if low voltage such as 24 volts or below is used, but if the voltage is 120 volts or 240 volts, cut the white wire as stated on the control and you're ready to roll. Here is the white wire that you would cut and here is where it states it on the control. Cut wire for 120 slash 240 VAC. The timer I have today is made by ICM Controls and this is a two wire compressor staging slash startup delay on make timer. A delay on make timer can be used for staging compressors or startups. A delay on make timer can prevent the compressor from short cycling on and off constantly using the delay feature. Delaying a compressor startup can also be used to make sure the compressor is properly equalized before restarting. This control has an input and an output. Here is our input and here is our output. So when power is applied to the input, the time delay begins. After the time delay is complete, the load energizes and remains energized as long as the power is applied. The control is reset by removing power during or after the time delay period. Here is a system diagram so you can see how this control is wired and the path of electricity. If so far you are enjoying this video, please give this video a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. So let's go over this diagram and how this control is incorporated in it. So let's start with line voltage. We have line voltage coming in here. We have two legs. This is 208 volts single phase as we have two wires. So as it comes in, it branches off one leg to our primary for our control transformer and the second line branches off to our second leg for our primary for our control transformer. 120 volts in each leg giving us a total of 208 volts. Okay. Also coming off line voltage, we are connected to our line side of our contactor. When the coil energizes for our contactor, this plunger plunges in and sends line voltage across our contactor and energizes our load, which in this case is our compressor. Our control transformer uses 24 volts, so this is a step down transformer. Steps down from 208 slash 230 volts down to 24 volts. One side of our control transformer is connected to our uh, coil on our contactor. That could be known as our common. Coming out of our transformer, we have our 24 volts, which is our hotline, which would be connected in this case to our thermostat. Uh, that would be our 24 volts coming out of our transformer would be our R on our thermostat. Our thermostat will next call for cooling and the contacts between R and Y will call close. Y stands for cooling. So now, this is our control. Remember, this is our input, this is our output. So when the thermostat calls, it's now going to send voltage to our other side of our contactor, usually, and send um, voltage to our compressor. In this case, we're going to add our timer. So now, instead of when the call is made, it's not going to turn on the compressor automatically. It's going to go through the timer. Let's say we set our timer for five minutes. 
Now voltage comes into our timer through Y out of our thermostat. And now we have a five minute delay before voltage can leave and exit through this side and feed the other side of our coil. So now coming out of our transformer, we feed our thermostat out of our thermostat. Now we go in through our delay after five minutes is made. Now we can go to the other side of our coil and complete the circuit. So this is our circuit. This can really be used as a universal control for many applications. And if anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. I'll catch you all next time.